Welcome back to Down Under in Thailand guys. Now, um, things have raced along. As you can see here, we're getting concrete put along the side and across the back of the, the building. You'll also see there's something you haven't seen before. There's an extension on the back of the structure that we're building, which is about 3.5 meters deep. And time to reveal the purpose of this place. Well, that is intended to be possible storeroom, but most definitely a kitchen. So we're aiming for the initial usage of this building to be a restaurant. It may be multitasking, we may include other things in it. And at the moment it's suck it and see. That's Tony's dream, that's what she would like, and that's where we're going at this point in time. But we have flexibility. When we built it all along, we wanted it to be capable of being a multi-purpose building, which it is. So I'll show you inside that in a little while. But at the moment, we're putting the concrete in, and that was delivered actually through the rubber trees at the back. Once they found they could get trucks in there easy enough to bring soil and so on in, they found it was a better way to actually put the concrete towards the rear rather than having the wheelbarrow all the way from the front. You can see that um, Townley's favourite mango tree there, um, and we saved that and got boxed, and uh, concrete got to put around it, so I hope it survives. Now we've moved on a day and that rear concrete has firmed up. There's another view of the rear room. And yeah, so they've already started to take off the boards um, for the formwork. And uh, they tend to do that quite quick here in Thailand. Um, a lot of other people would say, oh, I'll leave them on for three, four or five days, whatever. But um, I don't know what they're thinking is, but Maybe they're not planning too many people to walk on it and there's only the three, four guys working in there in the team and they're careful. Anyway, tell them he's walking on it. <laughs> so down this side, there's that dam. This side's a bit cleaner now that there's got a hard, uh, hard surface on it. Tell them he's looking at something, what's in the bag? And she calls out to the guys. It's small fish. <laughs> okay. So we're still dirt going out the front here, but something else is happening. We have more formwork in the ground, like we did for the foundations of the main walls of the building. And there's some more posts and uprights going in. This formwork is concrete and it has rebar or steel reinforcement in it. But we've got some columns going up. Okay. You so say, Brendan, come on, give, what is it? Well, it's going to be a extension out the front, uh, a covered area, veranda, whatever you'd like to call it. And it's going out a bit further than I kind of expected. It's going out another three, three and a half meters. I'm not sure of the exact measurement that they ended up with, but it's coming really close to the front boundary. And I questioned that, but they said, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm glad I'm not the one that's going to have to answer for that if questions get asked. So. There you go, you can see the uprights and the laterals going out. They're up there on the scaffold, too high. And it just goes up so quick. <laughs> you haven't seen that foundation before. I had a glimpse of it, as I did with the room out the back, but um, I'm afraid I didn't have any uh, video from Telney to be able to give you on that one, so not a problem. There's an inside view again and we'll just take a walk inside and uh, you can see now that the side door still goes outside but this back door that used to go to the outside now goes into this room which is quite a size. It has been concreted already. It has security mesh up all around. As a cooking area um, it's open to the air so that'll be good. And a little while later, uh, as you can see, they've already moved ahead. 
with um, the rafters on the structure and they're welding those in. Um, this kind of work they seem to be able to move ahead very quickly with. But sometimes it's because they've already got everything cut to length ready to go and uh, it also I guess getting in the rhythm of doing it. They've done it once with the main building. They're probably less thinking and stopping and measuring or whatever. They know where they're going with it. So that's becoming uh, more of a, a firm and rigid structure as they go. And so we moved on a little bit further again. A while later, they have all the brown boards up on the face here of that. They like to put those on before they put the roof sheeting on. So they're halfway through that at the moment. And there's a lone old coffee shop still sitting in the corner there, which was the thing that spiked all this. <laughs> what were we going to do with the coffee shop? And I went through all that work clearing and flattening that bit of land. Well, it wasn't for nothing, but uh, we thought something very different was going to happen. Or at least I did. <laughs> Not a problem. See, that side has its steel work on. There's another view of it now. You see, it's quite, a, quite an area. But, um, and we've moved on a little bit further because, as you saw, possibly a little break in the video, um, they now have the steel sheeting to go up on top of it. And they're getting that cut to size. One side has been done, the far side, as you can see, has been done to close to. Uh, the building. I think there's one more sheet to go on and that just the man cutting that one uh, for width right now. The man sitting there waiting to accept that sheet and slide it up. But um, yeah, that's a building that started as 9 metres by 9 metres plus the overhang which is 1.2 or 1.5 either side. I'm not sure. I haven't got a tape measure on it. Um, is now not nine by nine there's an extra what three and a half and three and a half seven meters on it so gone from nine up to 16 meters in length in a very short period of time okay so that shoots going up uh, not much more to go so that's the, the building as it is now there's still a bit to work to do on that uh, front veranda, but there is also, now it's a restaurant and you know that, we're gonna need a toilet block. So we are starting that now as I bring this video to you, and I'll bring that to you in the next one, and possibly some more completion, um, some completion of this front area. This will be concreted out to the road so it'll be flat going out and then a ramp to the road so check in the next video um, thanks for watching please subscribe and we'll catch up with you later and i'll bring some more completion to you in a little while bye for now guys <laughs>